Woo! What's going on, guys? Arms Forum coming at you guys today with another video. And I'm going to make this a real quick one, and then I got another one coming up. Um, I want to talk about this particular player. You know, it's rookie wide receiver Jamison Williams. We know the talent. You know, I, I, I've done probably a couple of videos on this kid telling people, you know, let's kind of relax on, on, on trying to push this kid. You know, he, he's going to come along eventually. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Ben Johnson's going to get him involved. Goff and him are going to get the chemistry down. We keep talking about that. Um, I keep talking about that on my channel. And, you know, we saw the talent at Ohio State. Then he went to Alabama. And then it just went full bloom. And he went off, you know, becoming a first-round pick. You know, you guys know the story. Uh, he, got, he, he, he was hurt. We, we drafted him. Uh, we kept this guy on ice for a long time. Brad Holmes kept him on ice. Just didn't want him, you know, didn't want to mess things up chemistry-wise with the other wide receivers. Wanted this kid to get healthy, yada, yada, yada. Ended up playing six games for the Detroit Lions against Jacksonville Jaguars, Minnesota Vikings, New York Jets, Carolina Panthers, Chicago Bears, and uh, Green Bay Packers. Um, six games, one catch. Nine targets, 41 yards and a touchdown, one carry, 40 yards. Now, we've seen the frustration. Do you think this kid, though, needs to grow up? He's 20, 21 years old, just a baby. Um, first year guy. But some of his antics concern me a little bit. And I think it came out really bad last night's game against the Green Bay Packers. He was targeted... A couple times, he actually—I think he actually dropped the ball too. That hit him in the chest. Goff targeted him once or twice, though. He caught that one ball. It went for six, but then it was like um, I believe it was a holding by Matt Nelson, if I can remember who uh, that one correctly. Uh, and and he ran for a touchdown. He ran for a touchdown. No one's going to catch the kid. And then when the touchdown was called back. He rips off his helmet. He rips off his helmet. He's going up and down the sidelines, fired up, throwing his hands in the air. Throwing his hands in the air, acting kind of like acting like a child. Acting really bad. I noticed that. And then I don't know if it was the same drive. I don't think it was the same drive. It might have been the next drive or two drive. Or, or two possessions later, we saw him going on a route. Jameson Williams on a it was pretty much like a like a post. It was, it was pretty much a post. Kind of went inside, boom, shot back outside. Just blew by the secondary guy. I don't even know who the secondary guy was. I I, I could have been. I I don't know if it was a corner, a safety. It looked like it was a corner. I don't know if it was Alexander. I don't know if it was Russell Douglas. I don't know if it was anybody, even their third or fourth corner. But, but Goff didn't throw him the football. He was wide open. And he was wide open. And then he went, he goes up and down the sideline, taking his helmet off, throwing his hands up in the air, throwing his hands up in the air, kind of showboat, like not showboating, but showing up his his quarterback, Jared Goff. I like I noticed that a lot yesterday. I seen it in two separate occasions. I noticed it a couple a game or two ago as well. He kind of did the same thing. He was flailing those arms around. Looked like somebody was trying to talk to him on the sidelines. I don't remember the player. I never wrote it down. But I've seen it on about three or four separate occasions. Now, I know the kid's not getting traded. I'm not saying the kid needs to, you know, the kid needs some type of huge adjustment, um, attitude adjustment. He might, though. But what I think this, what I notice is, is that this organization, this organization probably needs to reel that stuff in. Um... This kid looks like he's going to be really special. Like you see the ball in his hands, he's looks like he's going to score every time. Like he hasn't had the ball in his hands many many times. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, but 
the times that we see the ball in this kid's hands, one was a touchdown, one was a 40-yard run, and then the one that he caught yesterday went for a touchdown, but it, it came back on a holding call. And you see the talent. You just, is their attitude to, like, to match it? Like, I don't really know why, honestly, I'm making this video. I'm just kind of trying to see if, if some of my subs notice this. You know, because not many people are talking about it. I, I Like, when it happened yesterday, when it happened yesterday, I actually went and uh, I did a podcast at a local bar, came back. Then I was in a Lions group, and only, like, two other Lions fans noticed this. So, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> it's just, is it something that I shouldn't worry about? I'm not thinking this kid's going to be the next Antonio Brown in, in, in the wacko department or anything like that. Um, I hope he's at his level as a football player. Um, but am I just pushing the panic button a little bit? I'm not, I'm not even pushing the panic button, but am I am I just a little bit out of line with this? Did, did, did anybody notice this? Because I noticed it, and I've noticed it on three or four different occasions now, where he's... Looks like he has to be talked to on the sidelines by a player, a coach, or he's coming off the field with his hands in the air, doing one of these, you know, like doing, doing the, like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, 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 what do I need to do to get the ball? It could be a frustration thing. It could be a frustration thing. He hasn't gotten, he's gotten nine targets in six games. I kind of understand that with all the weapons that they have. Um, but they did draft this kid in the first round. But do you think it's an attitude thing? Do you think he's out of he's out of line for for throwing his hands up, acting kind of like a baby, throwing a little bit of a mini tantrum on the sidelines? Because he threw a little bit of a mini tantrum on the sidelines in Green Bay yesterday. Um, the first one when he was coming off the field, flailing his arms up like this, like what, like I'm like like I'm open, I'm open. Then then he's doing the. Then he's doing the thing. He's pointing at the field. He's just very animated. He was super animated yesterday. And I think it might have came full circle for him, the frustration level. And I get that. But what he needs to do is not do that. That's what he does not need to do. And this regime needs to reel that in, like I said. You, you cast that out and you reel that. You reel that back in. And I, and I think guys like Antoine Randall, Dan Campbell will do that. But I noticed it. It concerned me a little. I'm not saying that this guy is going to be some type of diva kid or anything like that. But I did notice it. I just kind of wanted to throw it out there if anybody else really noticed it. It was kind of a quick video. I got some ideas coming up too. I got to do my I got to do my aftermath too as well. That's coming up right after this. But I just wanted to throw that out there, guys. If you guys noticed that, but. Thanks for the video, guys. Thanks for paying attention. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Get all my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, share this out. Am I just being a little bit of an old head? Am I being a little bit cranky? Um, I don't really think I am because I did notice it. And I, I, there were a couple guys in a couple Lions group that did notice it as well. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe I'm just overblowing it. But it's, it, it's something that I think maybe the organization... Um, we'll need to address. But thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. One pride. Go Lions. Boom.